Hi guys, my name is Abhishek and I am going to show you a video on controlling BeagleBone through Android via USB. Now setting up the BeagleBone regular, I am giving the COM port and port rate for serial debugging. We have used TI Startware as base software which provides USB class driver. Now I am inserting the micro SD card which has bootloader and BeagleBone site app. Now I am restarting it. The app is showing no device as the device Android uh, device is not connected to it. And now I am connecting the Android device to BeagleBone via USB cable. As soon as I connect the USB cable to the Android device, the device asks for the permission whether to connect in accessory mode or not. See this is asking. This is the first layout of the Android app which comes when the device is not connected to the BeagleBone. This is the layout which comes when the BeagleBone is connected to the Android app. We have used four peripherals of BeagleBone. First is RTC. The time on RTC on app and the BeagleBone is same. Then LED control. Then watchdog timer. Then GPIO. We have used eight GPIO pins which can act as an input or output. Means it can either read or write as the user wants. BeagleBone has four user LEDs which we are controlling using Android application. I am turning it on on Android application simultaneously the LEDs are on on BeagleBone side. This whole controlling BeagleBone is done using Android accessory protocol. Simultaneously messages are printed on serial console. The second peripheral which we have uh, control is watchdog timer. We have program like if you are not pressing any key within 4 seconds of after turning watchdog on then uh, BeagleBone will reset. BeagleBone has resetted. You can check on the serial console. Now I am turning on Watchdog once again. Now I am pressing the key. So it will not reset. Now I have not pressed any key. Now within 4 seconds it will reset. The next peripheral which we have controlled is GPIO. I will show you GPIO right. We have connected pin number 6 and 7 to LEDs which will act as an output device. I have turned on LED number 6 act as in write mode. Now LED number 7. Now I have connected pin number 7 to buzzer. Now I will show you GPIO read. We have connected pin number 12 and 13 to switches. You can see the read value changes from 0 to 1 as it is common anode. Switch are not pressed yet. If we pressed it then the value becomes 0. Thank you for watching. Hope you have liked our video.